So in this video, I am going to talk about the femur neck fracture. Talking about the signs and symptoms, there is pain. Pain is particularly in the groin and it is during walk. There is inability to move the limb, the affected limb, or bear the weight on that limb, and there is swelling around the hip joint. Now, the mechanism of injury for the fracture of the femur neck, it is usually in the old patient and the postmenopausal woman, there is decrease in the bone density. And because of that, even slight trauma or tribal trauma, it will lead to femur neck fracture. It is, it is the most common fracture seen in the old age. And in young patient, there are conditions like high velocity injuries like road traffic accident or repetitive stress and that can lead to fracture of the femur neck. Now talking about the classification. Classifications are of, there are many classifications out of them. We will be discussing the major three classification. One of them is the Powell's classification. So according to Powell, we have to draw a line that is coinciding with the fracture line and one line which is horizontal to that fracture line. So this angle is measured and there are three Powell's reservation 1, 2, 3 and it is less than 30, 30 to 50 or more than 50. It, this angle number can be different in different ways. Now, the importance of the Powell's classification is if the angle is more, the angle goes on increasing for example in 50, more than 50 degrees, it is more unstable. Lesser the angle, more the stable joint. In garden classification, we will look on the fracture side and the trabeculars. So, depending about the fracture type and trabeculars, the garden classification is divided into four types. The fracture is incomplete and the trabeculars are undisplaced. Type 2 where the fracture is complete. Now onwards the fracture is complete and we will talk about the trabeculars. Where trabeculars are undisplaced in type 2, trabeculars are incompletely displaced in type 3 and here in type 4 the trabeculars are completely disrupted. Now, the third classification is anatomical classification where depending upon the location of the fracture, it is either subcapital, either it is transcervical or it is basal. Now, for diagnosis, there is a clinical ground like history of fall, restriction of movement, external rotation of the leg and shortening of the limb. Whereas, on the radiographic side, on x-ray, we will see a breaking sentence line. This is the normal sentence line. And here the shunting line is broken. Also, we can do CT and MRI for occult fracture that is not seen on the X-ray. Talking about the complication, avascular necrosis (AVN) is the most common, which is associated with the fracture of the femur knee. The other sites where the avascular necrosis can be seen is talus, scaphoid, and femur knee. Other is non-union and secondary osteoarthritis. Now talking about the management part. For management, first we will see how old is the fracture, whether it is less than 3 weeks or more than 3 weeks. It is said that if it is less than 3 weeks, there can be possibility that blood supply is intact and this can be checked by MRI. And if it is more than 3 weeks, it is said that usually there is no blood supply. Still you can check with an MRI. Now, looking upon the age of the patient, if it is less than 60 years and if it is less than 3 weeks, where the blood supply is intact, further you will see the classification, the anatomical classification, whether it is subcapital, transcervical, you will use the CC screws, that is cortical cancellous screws, or if it is basic cervical, or if it is in the pediatric age group, you will use the DHS dynamic hip screw. Now, if the patient is less than 60 years, but the age of fracture is more than three weeks, then you have these procedures, namely Mayer's procedures, McMurray's osteotomy and the Powell's osteotomy. This was about age of less than 60 years. Now, if it is more than 60 years, we have heavy arthroplasty or total hip replacement. So this was all about the management of fracture of human.